What's the matter with you, kid? Who said that? Down here, kid. What in the world? A talking cheeseburger? Yeah, wow, a talking cheeseburger. We're all really impressed. Now relax, I'm here to help you. You're gonna help me? Yeah, I'm a time-traveling cheeseburger. I work with the time police. They sent me here to make sure that you write a good English paper. Well, that seems like a lot of wasted resources. Yeah, it's been a slow week. Well, how are you gonna help me write this paper? You don't have any hands. Where we're going, we don't need hands. We're time traveling. Is that it? Everything just looks the same, just black and white. What do you expect? I'm a time traveling cheeseburger, not the ghost of Christmas past. Honey, I'm home. Have you made me another fantastic dinner? Of course, dear. Just have a seat and set your hat down. I'll have dinner ready for you in just a minute. Okay, cheeseburger. What's going on? So just relax and observe. Get the information you need for your English paper. How was work, darling? Don't worry yourself with such matters. All you need to know is I leave at 7 a.m. and I don't get home until 6 p.m. Between those hours, I'm pretty much non-existent. That's fatherhood in the 50s. Don't I know it. Speaking of fatherhood, where is our little rascal? Oh, he should be home from sports practice any time. Ma! Pop! Where are ya? We're in the dining room, son. Oh, okay. <sighs> wow, cheeseburger. This is nothing like what dinner is like with my family. Well, on television, life was portrayed as a more simple time. Hamburgers were like half my size. Don't try to make this about you. It just seems like everyday occurrences were so formal for these people. Well, this is a very stereotypical view of the 50s. The media portrayed everyday life in this way to project an innocent and simple image. Imagine if Junior had walked in wearing a leather jacket instead of a basketball uniform. You just don't understand rock and roll. You're a couple of squares. Ronald, you should respect your elders. Let me handle this. Now I didn't storm the beaches of Normandy for nothing. You and your little hoodlum friends are gonna fix your hair and put on some proper clothes, or you can find a new place to live. You think I wanna live in this stuff with you two old timers? I've got bigger plans than working at the mill with you and your old man. So that's it? We're back already? Well, duh, I don't have all day to sit here and take you all over the time-space continuum. Didn't you learn anything? Actually, I did. It seems like life was portrayed in the media as being something very simple, but actual home life was a lot different. Technology was rapidly changing, and in some way probably scared the people of the 1950s. Up until the 50s, user-focused technology hadn't changed American society like it has today, thanks to things like the internet and television. Cheeseburger! This is amazing! I think I learned something! I feel great! Whoa, kid! Where's the fire? Start writing that gold down! <laughs>